drought ravages crops across Virginia. Farmers are searching for solutions. 15 localities and their contiguous cities are now eligible for emergency drought loans under the USDA. That includes Albemarle County and Charlottesville. Kate Nectarline is live in the newsroom with details. Good evening, Kate. Hi, Steve. Worsening drought conditions have sparked federal intervention from Warren County to Augusta County to right here in Charlottesville. Farmers can now ask for funds to help ease the environmental burden. I think the biggest thing is that uh, sometimes farmers don't always go out and seek help. And I think if they can just talk to the Farm Service Agency just to see what's available. Farmers in Central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley can now apply for emergency drought funding. Money from the feds to save farmers as farms suffer. It's a very pivotal time uh, for a lot of crops. And so going for, you know, Weeks without rain can be very, very detrimental. Mike Wallace is with Virginia's Agriculture and Consumer Services. He says farmers have eight months to apply for emergency assistance. Uh, many times um, farmers may take out loans to purchase seed or other materials uh, for uh, their agricultural uh, production. Uh, and these emergency loans can go to help uh, cover some of those payments and things of that nature. Virginia's farmers are feeling the strain, emotional and financial. We work with numerous other local farmers, other orchards, and there is a lot of extra work, stress, um, some lack of product because of the drought. Luke Yoder is the sales manager at Barracks Farm Market. He works with farmers and is also one himself. Over the past few weeks, he has watched the lack of rain take its toll on his produce. He says a little money can go a long way. That extra stress involved, um, extra financial needed to run irrigation, that kind of thing, this will help um, make that a better life for the farmer. Wallace urges farmers not to hesitate in applying for these loans. If you need assistance, ask for it now. Live in the newsroom, Kate Nectarline, 29 News at 6.